For residents of the 6th District, one of the most stubborn problems we face is transportation mobility, and the ID5 bridge collapse only highlighted that. I'd like to ask both of you what you would do to increase mobility, and, what we, and would you support transit if the voters in this district demanded it? Mr. Ossoff, you go yeah, first. Well, growing up in Metro Atlanta, I feel like I spent about half of my life sitting in traffic on 400, and it's only gotten worse. And I think with the bridge collapse on 85, we know now more than ever that we need renewal of our infrastructure. And I will work with anyone to deliver uh, the kind of infrastructure renewal that Georgia so urgently needs if we're going to attract jobs and investment to this community, growing organizations that are thinking about placing new research centers, headquarters and facilities here will demand uh, cutting edge infrastructure so they can move goods and services efficiently around the area. Young people getting degrees in science, technology, engineering and math, preparing for the high tech economy, demand that kind of mobility for quality of life. But if we're going to achieve that kind of thing, Greg and Congress, we need some independent leadership that can work across the aisle. And I've said clearly, I'm ready to work with the White House on an infrastructure package. But if we send another career politician, another career partisan politician to Washington, like Secretary Handel, I'm afraid we're going to get more of the same, more gridlock, more dysfunction, uh, and not the kind of results that Georgia needs when it comes to renewal of our infrastructure. Thank you. It is clear that we have left our infrastructure unattended and allowed there to be um, decay. What we saw, however, that was a positive was that when jurisdictions work together, when we get the federal government out of the way, we can do really good things and when we engage the private sector. Um, getting that I-85 bridge done as quickly as it was was a real example of what we can do. And rolling back the regulatory um, uh, in positions there really went a long way in injecting the private sector. What I will say is this, we need to work diligently as the tax reform bill comes through and how we can structure the infrastructure uh, payment system. But to think that a hand-picked candidate from Nancy Pelosi is going to do anything other than go along to get along with the liberal left, that's and laughable.